Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on tonight's episode, we are going to be working on our blacksmithing, guys. For those of you who have maybe never done this skill, uh, everything we've been doing lately with our trade skills, we've been starting over here in Freeport. As I said before, we'll usually start here at the entrance. Uh, this is uh, right over here next to the commons. You can see there's not too many people on at the moment. We're over in West Freeport right here at the gate. Now, this is not where we're going to stay. We're going to go over to North. North has kind of the stuff you're looking for just to start with now basically what we want to get uh, going is to create middle bits middle bits is going to be from level 0 to 21 is when it's going to max out and become trivial however from uh, from reading the the forms and talking to other people who have done this skill you're going to want to create a lot more than you're actually going to level up with uh, the the rule of thumbs is about two full backpacks of eight slots of metal bits and that's going to give you enough metal bits to kind of progress through the rest of the ranks down the road because almost everything that you're going to be creating from then on is going to use metal bits as a base but you don't necessarily have to make it all at one time because if you know you're only going to be spending 20 30 minutes doing this right now uh, then you can make a, just enough to kind of do that so you don't clog up your bank or your backpacks I got lucky and we're going to be coming over here. This is the way to the bank, actually. If you go down that way, you'll get to the bank. I'm going to come over here, take a left real quick, and then take a right. And that's the building we're looking for right there, the forge. You can see right outside there is a forge we can use. If it will load up there for a second, let me get a little closer to it. There we go. I guess I was just right outside of its range. But we're not going to make anything just yet. We're going to go ahead and open up the door if it will let us. <laughs> okay, we got to close that down a little bit. And this is the NPC that we're looking for. She will have, let's scroll all the way down right here. She will have these small pieces of ore, and that's what you're looking for. Make sure you get the small ones. Don't get the small bricks, the small blocks. It's the small pieces of ore. And you're going to need two of these, one flask of water, and that's going to make you one middle bit. So you can kind of see that's going to stack up on you. Now these do weigh a little bit of pounds to them because they're half a pound a piece. So unless you have some weight reduction backpacks, you might not want to buy a whole bunch of them. Now I did get lucky and uh, I found somebody who had made a whole bunch of metal bits and then just sold them to NPC. So because I knew I was going to max this out pretty quickly and I will still need a whole bunch more, I went ahead and just bought them. They were fairly cheap. I think they were like... Um, two gold a piece or something like that i mean yeah it was like three platinum a stack but overall i still think you're going to save more money uh, and more time doing it that way i did go ahead and uh, stack up on my water as well now remember it's two of these uh bricks for every one water so you can fill your backpacks up with the water knowing that the middle bits will take them up two for one basically so we're going to need a lot more um bricks than we are going to need water uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy another 12 of these just to kind of get an even stack there we go so now we have uh, 40 of them and because the NPCs right here I don't need a whole bunch of them now remember you do not want to stack these items together you need to drag and drop each individual one in there one by one let's move this over to the other side so it's nice and uh, easy for us I kind of want to like move some of these middle bits out actually let me do that real quick We'll put a few of them over here and just to kind of make it a little bit easier for us to uh, actually let's move one of these right there okay so that's good now hold the control button down you want one water and two of these little bricks hit combine and you actually get two middle bits out of it I thought you would only get one but no that's kind of interesting right there and you can see my skill did go up I'm at two now and you're gonna do this all the way up to 21 which is uh, when it will become trivial, guys. Again, you do need more than just uh, what you're going to get from that. However, if you get lucky or unlucky and uh, your skill just doesn't level up as fast as mine, which is probably more likely considering I am playing with a high-level character and his wisdom or intelligence, depending on the case of the, the class you're playing, whichever one is higher, I believe, is the case, uh, mine is, is really high. I'm at 215 right now on my wisdom, so... If you're playing with a newbie and, you know, you just have like the bare minimum of what your character kind of started with and maybe one or two other pieces that add uh, intel or wisdom to you, you're going to fail a lot more than I will. 
however, there is still like the random factor thrown in there too. So you could have a really good day and just never fail, or you could have a really, really bad day and just fail on everything that you're doing. I kind of did that earlier. I was, uh, the main reason for doing this right now is I was working on my tailoring skill. I'm trying to uh, make some, some of those uh, weight reduction backpacks with the, uh, the backpack pattern and the bear skin. And the bear skins go for about 30 platinum a piece. Unfortunately, uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of them available, even though that they're kind of costly. And so I was, I was buying them when I saw them. And then when I made the backpacks, I could sell them for 60 platinum. And at first, uh, the first three combinations I made, I got uh, a success on each one of them. So I sold the backpacks, made a little bit of cash. And here I was thinking, I was like, oh, man, this is like good money. Well, the next five that I tried making, I failed. So I'm still up a little bit of platinum on the whole endeavor, but not by much. So you can kind of see that just because your skill, and you know, it's weird because my skill was lower on the first ones than it was on the next ones. Like I, I leveled up on my skill each and every time I tried doing one, whether I succeeded or not. So you can kind of see in that regard that uh, it kind of sucks, you know, like, it, oh man, I had to close that down, don't I? I closed the wrong one. All right, let's go in there. We'll get another... Probably another two stacks, I think, would do us. Let's do that. Let's do two stacks. All right, and go back out there. Oh, no, I went on the counter. <laughs> a little tiny bug, guys, a little tiny bug. If you go on that counter and you're a high elf, you're, uh, you're going to have some issues there. All right, one water and two of these. Let's do combine. This is actually not uh, too difficult. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder, but uh, we're just breezing right through this. We're already up to, what, 21? Yeah, 21 on the, the list. And we're only going up to 21, so maybe too many. But we need the uh, the middle bit, so we'll keep going with it. The next recipe is actually... Uh, let me look this up again, guys. Next recipe is the scalers. And those are going to be level 21 to 41. And those are going to use one middle bit, one scalar mold, and one water flask. So we'll have to find the molds. And I do know there is a, another part of Freeport that actually has just like all the molds available. However, there was somebody there actually doing his tradecraft. And I think that's the guy who sold all these middle bits to the, uh, the NPC. I don't know if he sold them there as like a placeholder. Like he was just full up on his inventory and he's like, I'll just sell these. I'll buy them back later on. Or if he sold them because he was a uh, high enough level that he no longer needed them. I'm hoping that's the case because I kind of hate to steal them. That was uh, what was going on. You know, there's going to be some... Uh, some cost involved if that's what you're doing. You're selling them and then you're going to buy them back at a higher price than what he uh, he paid you for them. But uh, it's still something you can do. Not that one. There we go. Let's drag these back over here. And close that down. And that's going to give us a decent amount. Now, we're still going to have more water. But as you can see, when you're doing the scalers, you're going to need that water anyway. So it's not going to go to waste. And even if you don't use the water, it costs almost nothing to buy water. And you can drink it. So, you know, getting a little bit more than you think you're going to need, not going to do anything other than clog up your inventory. So if you're running out of space, then, yeah, that's definitely uh, something to take in mind. But when we go to the next area, that place, I didn't see any water available. You know, I didn't look too hard, to be honest, but I didn't see any water over there. So you might want to fill up on some of this stuff before you head over to another zone if you know that there's just, you know, not those resources. Same thing with these bricks. These bricks weren't available over there where he was at, which is why I came over here because it's a little bit of a higher level place. You know, it has uh, some some more advanced features. I don't have any place for this. No. Uh, let's put it over here for now uh, until we can get some of this water out of the way and then we'll have a, a spot for it right there. And we are out of... Yep, we are out of those bricks. Okay, so we went through those pretty quick. Let's see, what should we do? I guess let's check to see if she has the scalar molds. And I got to close that down again. That is a weird bug because I can go through with like a brewery thing open and I don't have a problem opening doors with that. So let's close this down for now and we'll come in here. Now we're looking for a scalar mold. Hmm. A skewer mold? No, we don't want that one. So she doesn't have very many molds. She has the bricks. What about you, little dude? You got one? What do you got for us? Anything? No, he just has weapons. 
What about you? Um, nope, no molds that I can see. Now you can always do the alternative to level up your, your blacksmithing skill, which is to use sharpening stones on rusty weapons. Sharpening stones, as you can see, this uh, person right here sells them. They're three copper, so they're really, really cheap. And you actually sell your weapon for a little bit more when you sell it to a vendor once it's been sharpened. And you can get your skill up, I believe, to 21 as well doing that method. But you're going to need those middle bits anyway. So unless you have somebody making them for you or you have somebody who's going to sell them to you, you're probably better off just going that route and just getting the, the bars. But it's a little bit more costly. Let's see. What do you got? Anything? You don't have anything at all. Okay, so I guess we're going to be heading over to the other area because we got the middle bits. How do I get down this way? Okay, we got the middle bits. How much water do I have? Um, yeah, let's let's pick up some more water before we head out, and I'll show you guys where I get the water from. But there's tons and tons of NPCs in every city that sell water. I'm sure there's a closer one than the one I'm going to. This is the one that I prefer to get water from because it's the same place that I make my alcohol and all the other stuff. So I know it's there. I know the NPC gives me a pretty good price on it, and I know it's the exact type of water I need because there are different types of water out there. This is a water flask. There's pond water, you know, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you're looking at it. You don't just look at it. Oh, it's water. And, you know, go over there and try making it and it fails every single time. You got to get the right type. Let's see where you at water right there. Okay. So I need uh, 18 more. Let's do 18. That will fill that stack and then I'll buy another three. And that will fill the other stack. There you go. Now, if you don't buy exactly what you need on those, say you buy 20 and, you know, one stack needs 18 and the other stack needs three, it's not going to fill up like it should. It doesn't take that 20 and, uh, you know, fill it on those stacks. It just takes that 20 and puts it onto another stack somewhere else. So if you buy exactly what the stack needs, it does that. I don't know why it doesn't fill in naturally. I don't know if that was classic or not. I don't think I ever really paid that close attention to what I had in my inventory uh, back then as far as like buying the same food. I just bought another stack of food when I was completely out. So <laughs> I can't tell you if that's the way it was, but I, I guess it probably was, you know, because the game wasn't as uh, intelligent, I guess, if you want to put it that way, as it could have been. You know, they were dealing with the fact that computers were not that advanced to begin with. And most computers had a somewhat of a difficult time keeping up with the graphics in this game alone you're probably looking at that and be like wow really well you know like i said computers were not very advanced the graphics in this game were like the best graphics you can get on a video game at the time for a long period of time in fact uh, people would upgrade their graphics cards and still not be able to use this thing at full you know maxed out settings so I, in fact i still know people who have computers that are rather old that still can't run this game at full graphics so yeah, it's kind of sad, but you know that that's uh, you don't necessarily need a state of the art computer for a lot of programs out there. If you're just using Word or Excel, yeah, you don't really need to go out and buy a fifteen hundred dollar computer. And those computers are definitely going to be able to run this. But if you're just running Word and you have like an eight nine year old computer, you might have a few issues with this game, I guess, uh, depending on when you bought that computer. But uh, hopefully, you can run this one because this is a really fun game, and I think you guys would like it if you haven't already tried it. This skill, though, is uh, somewhat useful, actually. If you're going to be starting out and you somehow manage to rake in a little bit of cash, as you can see right here, it doesn't really require that much money to get this going. So if you can sell like a, a few stack of bone chips for like 10 or 15 platinum a piece, if you can sell some spider silk, uh, you know, for 10 or 15, 20 platinum a piece uh, on, a, on a stack for that, you can rake in just enough money to get your skill up in this. And from then on... You can go through and, uh, you know, get yourself some armor that you made yourself that's going to be less on the weight and actually more on the AC down the road. So let's see. This is the shop I was talking about. And, of course, we're looking for a scale or scalar mold. Let's see if we can find one in here. I don't see it on that one. Hmm. Ah, there we go right there. And they are five silver, two copper a piece. I don't think these stack, but let's see when I go to buy it. Nope, they are not going to stack. So that is going to go into my first slot, which is that one right there. So let's go ahead and buy those. What's my other one? That one's completely filled. Okay, that one's open. So we'll keep buying. Okay, so he does not actually sell those naturally. He ran out. 
of his molds. So somebody sold those to that guy, and that's why he had a few on him. Uh, helmet mold. Nope, that's not the guy we want. Let's uh, let's talk to her and see if she has some. It was probably the other guy who was here that was working on that. Nope, nope. Any of you mask? No, but you can see right here there's a little line, and that tells you right there that they have as many of them as you could possibly want. Let's see, what if we talk to the person upstairs? They might have a few as well. Come on, sell me some. Uh, plate, dang it, nope, nobody here is going to have them, I guess is what it's going to turn out. Yep, that's, uh, that kind of sucks. Well, we do have a few, we have three. So what we can do is we can come out here and we can at least make a, a few of them just to kind of show you how they're done. And then on the next episode, I will show you guys where to buy these. I'll look them up and, and make sure we have a infinite supply of this. So we want uh, one middle bit. We want uh, one flask of water, and we want one mold right there. And then we're going to hit combine, and we're going to get these things, which are the uh, scalers. I don't know what they're used for, although I would hold on to them until we find out, guys, because they might be used on a recipe down the road, or they might be used in something else as far as like, oh, I actually failed that one. But I did go up in skill level. Uh, this one? What happened to that? Where is it at? Oh, okay, it's right on top of the other one. That's why I couldn't see it. And we got one more, guys. Let's put that in there. And that one in there. And that. And we got it. Okay, so we got at least two. And they don't stack. Oh, man. These things don't stack on top of each other? That sucks. I will definitely be looking that one up because I don't have space to carry all these things around on me. We'll probably have to sell them to a vendor if uh, if that's going to happen. But if you look over here in the vendor, you will see that somebody's actually already sold a whole bunch of them. And they do stack in his. So if we go into here, is he the one that had them? Yeah. So he has seven of them for sale right now, and they're one gold apiece. If I try to sell mine slightly less than what he's uh, he's selling his for. That's one gold, four silver, three copper. Uh, if I buy them from him, it's one gold, five silver, six copper. And I could always put on my charisma and make it a little bit less as well. I have uh, some steins and things of that sort. I actually have a, a backpack going on right there where I have the, the crude stein, which gives you an extra 15 charisma. I have an earring that I've got that has an extra five on it. And then I got this little thing right here that's no trade, and it gives me three. So you know, overall, it's not a whole lot of a, of a difference, but if you're going to buy a big budget item or you know you're going to be buying and selling quite a bit that day, go ahead and throw those on there. But remember, before you start making anything else, put your Intel Wisdom stuff back on because that's going to let you achieve stuff and uh, go up higher in your skill a lot faster. And as always, guys, I'm AC Gamer, and I'll definitely catch you next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.